Yeah, Wendy, Mike, of course, the idea here is to create more stringent rules that would perhaps make it more difficult or more prohibitive for uh, adults to have private contact and communications with students, which, of course, was a common thread in these high profile sexual misconduct cases that came to light this year. Plum's school board sifting through a seven page social media policy Tuesday discussing which parts to adopt in light of the multiple 2015 teacher student sex scandals. This policy affects everybody. Potentially 700 district personnel, including teachers, volunteers, faculty, would all be affected by the policy written by the Pennsylvania School Board Association, including changes that could force text messages and emails to be group messages or require administrators to be carbon copied. I don't feel it's appropriate to have that one on one with a a student teacher or administrator, student or anywhere, you know, custodian and, you know, administrative assistant to a student. I don't believe any of that is appropriate. Currently, that is allowed, though, right? That I can't answer to. I don't, I don't think it's allowed. With social media and technology, it's ahead of us. It's ahead of the school districts. It's ahead of the parents. The superintendent even asked whether landscapers or the Pepsi delivery man need to learn the social media policy as well. Not every answer is known, but the board largely agreed on the plan that's now posted online, where parents can see it and make their own decision. I'm happy to pass this. I'm very excited that we're going forward, that we will make changes. But in addition, it's critical that we engage our community. Now, the board expects to vote on this a week from today, so that's next Tuesday. Not a whole lot of specifics provided at today's meeting, but they do say the plan will eventually be put online. So far, we checked a moment ago, it has not been posted as of yet. And one challenge, meanwhile, for this board is to decide how to create the training necessary and get people up to speed on this plan to render it effective once it is in place. Reporting live from Plum High School tonight, Bo Berman, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.